YouTube, this is Techie Just coming at ya, and I wanted to chat to you guys about the new Retina MacBook Pro that came out and how I think it's a failure. <laughs> you guys all know I did a past video on the Retina 15 inch MacBook Pro and how I wasn't really a big fan of it. The reason being for that was simply because you couldn't change out parts and so on and so forth. But since then I have realized that will I ever really add things to the computer or take parts out? Not really. Um, but then again, there always is that option with the previous generation, which is why I still have an iffy feeling about it. And I think that the Retina is absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you see a computer in person, and or if you have one, I'm kind of somewhat jealous of you just because of the Retina display. However, I have heard from multiple people that the Retina actually slows down applications and makes things a little bit more difficult to run. Um, so a lot of people, I know one of them, Chris Perillo, he actually uses a third-party app that slow, like that turns down the pixel density to what the normal resolution 15-inch MacBook Pro was so that he has faster rendering times and the computer just all around runs faster. Now if you want to run your MacBook Pro 15-inch in a Retina format, that is totally fine because it has the graphics to support it. This is the biggest reason why I'm not a fan of the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro and why I am quite disappointed with it and I felt that it could have been better for the price tag. The 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro, I was extremely pumped for it. You guys have no idea because I feel that the 15 inch MacBook Pro is a little bit high up there. But this is coming from somebody that hasn't ever spent more than $1,200 on a MacBook or on a computer or laptop in general. But I have changed quite a bit. I mean, the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro would be fantastic for me right now simply because I do a lot of work, computer editing, or picture rendering or graphics, just drawing in general on the computer. So it'd be nice to have a portable laptop that has the power to support that. And yes, you can do it on the lower end MacBook Pros. However, they are very, very heavy. This to me makes the laptops not so portable. So I was very excited for the 13 inch Retina because I figured it was going to be the price of the base model 15 inch normal MacBook Pro which it pretty much is, which was a plus. But then when they started going through the specs, <laughs> There isn't a quad core, it is still a dual core, and though it is a very fast dual core, and you can upgrade it to a faster dual core, it's not what I want. If I'm spending $1,700 on a laptop, I want it to have a quad core. And I know you could argue that you're spending that extra money for the Retina, but at that point, it's really not worth it for me for just the Retina. I want it to be powerful. Also, the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro does not have dedicated graphics, which is a big problem, because I don't fully understand how the graphics graphics card is going to hold out with this new Retina technology. Maybe because the screen is smaller, they can make do with just a normal graphics card, not a dedicated graphics card, um, but we are going to have to see. For me, that makes me a little uneasy and I'm not prepared to shell out $1,700 for a computer that I don't think is going to last a long time. And I'm a little pissed off that the 13-inch Retina model doesn't have a 256 gigabyte standard SSD with the base model. You are still paying a lot of money for this laptop and I feel that the base model should at least have 256 gigabytes of solid state memory to make up for the fact that it doesn't have dedicated graphics, you know, it doesn't have a quad core. These are things that I felt were going to be in the 13-inch MacBook Retina and it's not and I'm quite disappointed with it. I think that this computer is a fail. So specs aside guys, the sad specs that are the 13 inch retina display. The base model 13 inch model will run you a whopping $699 if you live here in Canada. I do believe it's the same pricing in the States. And if you want to bump up your SSD to just double what it is, which it should be that size anyway, it'll cost you an additional 300 whopping buckaroons at two grand. That is the only upgrade you get to going up to the next model, which in my opinion is not worth it, and I will get to that in a second. Now, 
The 15-inch Retina display sports a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i7, which is a significantly better CPU than both of the 13-inch Retina display MacBook Pros. Tons better. Again, with the 8 gigabytes of RAM, but the base model comes with 256 gigabytes of flash storage, which the base model 13-inch Retina does not. You also get dedicated graphics, which is absolutely fantastic, because I feel that these graphics are what you need to power the display that is on the 15 inch MacBook Pro as well as on the 13 inch. So that does worry me, like I said before, so good, the 15 inch does have that. If you are also a student, this is the best value for you. And if you are not a student, you can kind of cheat the system and find somebody that is. And then they can, you know, say that it's for them when it's for you. Yeah. But anyways, if you are a student and you go in and you want to buy the 13 inch Retina Display MacBook Pro, you are only going to get $100 off of your laptop. And if you buy the 15 inch base model, you get $200 off. So that $200 off brings you down to the initial price higher end 13 inch Retina Display MacBook Pro. So in my opinion, comparing those specs to the 13 inch top of the line, you can't compare them. They're so much better. You get a better screen. It is just all around a better system for your money. And I know it does cost quite a bit more. In the scheme of things, it's not much more, but I know if you're a student, it's quite a bit more. Trust me, stuff adds up, but you will get a longer use out of your device and you can do more things with it. It will be a much more powerful machine. Also, it is even more stupid for the people that live in the UK. So I apologize for that. These prices and all that jazz is North America, but in the UK, the 13 inch retina display model runs for a whopping and for those of you that don't know currency differences, it's pretty much twice what our currency is. It's a little bit less than twice, but it's pretty much about that. So I'll use that as an example because math brain, I'm an artist, hello. I don't know how the sales are gonna be in the UK, if this computer is gonna sell at all, but in my opinion, it is not worth the money that you'd shell out for it. You may as well get the 13 inch model, it has the same CPU. When I say 13 inch, I mean the base 13 inch, base base 13 inch, the old style MacBook Pro. It is a lot heavier, but the technology in it for the amount of money is a better value for you. Also with the 13 inch base model, you can actually add your own SSD in it. So for me, the 13 inch Retina was a big letdown down. Other than the fact that it has retina, that's a plus, but I don't feel like the graphics card can support the retina. So there's no point for me to say that the 13 inch retina I'm excited for. I was excited for it and now I feel that it's a complete and utter failure. And to me, this is more of a failure than the 15 inch retina because now the 15 inch retina at the moment is the only laptop that I could use as a powerful machine which is kind of upsetting to me because there are certain features with the Retina I don't need, but the other MacBook Pros are simply too heavy. HDDs, it's, ugh, it's, I'm, I'm a bit conflicted actually. What computer do you think I should get down below? That would help me out a lot. Also, do you think that this computer was a flop and fail, or do you think that it's gonna do well? It is Apple after all. Let me know down below. Also guys, I'm thinking about putting hats like this. I have a ton of hats that I have overflowing. I'm gonna put them up in my store my store envy store which is store envy no it's techie.storeenvy.com right here you can copy out that link or you can click it in the description I, I always have my link there in the description um, for you guys to head on over to my store I've also got mountain dirt and mountain dirt curb root hats they're almost all gone so if you want one you better get on that because they arrived and such but yes I'm considering selling these types of hats in my store. I can sign them upon request. They're gonna be cheaper than my Mountain Dur hats because my Mountain Dur hats I actually have to make. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that down below. Would you pick up a hat if I sold one, like a Superman hat or something like that? And anyways, guys, check out my previous videos and such, and until next time, be ba double doo double punch the camera. That was an old one. Doodles. And through learning about people like Socrates and other famous philosophers like that, learning about different theories and such, I kind of have been developing my own theories and what I think about personally of everyday life.